So what's the deal, John? Well, we um, are currently doing a unit on coordinate grids and plotting ordered pairs on a coordinate grid. So with uh, collaborating with Mr. Seashulls and on Mr. Corey on the fly last <laughs> night, uh, designed an activity where students had to use a coordinate grid to locate books in the library and record call numbers and information about the books. Um, I'm going to look for the call number. Okay, which and is... We're find it. Okay. All right, and after you find it... Then we find it in the library. Okay, and where are you going to put that on the form, Kai? Can you show me? Okay, can, all right, so there's the book. So let's do... This is Nami by... Okay, so what are you doing now? We're finding books. Which one? Show me on the screen. Which one are you on? We just found the uh, poem. Okay. And did you find it on the shelves back there? Yeah. So where is it on the map? Okay. Okay, so now click on that page one at the bottom of your publisher document. That's it. Now where is it on your map? Okay. So insert something there. There you go. Insert in a text box. And where is that on the grid? Yeah. Okay. I call it 2E. Okay, so 2E. Yeah. And then so you enter it on the screen and you did you write it down on your notes here? You can do that one, Kyle. 2E. All right, so you figure out where that is on the map? Yeah. Cuz you see the you see the oval table. Yeah? Well, let's find it. Right, so you just typed Rosa Parks. So, because that's where the book about Rosa Parks, we found a picture book about Rosa Parks. Okay. I see her name, but I don't see where it lives on the shelf. Can you, like, draw an arrow from her name? Okay. Can you draw an arrow to exactly? Yeah. Remember that arrow tool? Excuse me. Yeah, if you're doing big labels, remember your arrow tools so that you can draw arrow to exactly where it was.